hey what up guys welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial in the last video i showed you how to set up a very basic app bar and so now it's time for us to open a drawer menu with this app bar and i'll also explain how to navigate to different pages from this drawer so let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code just to keep everyone on the same page in my main function i'm just running my app and that's pointing to our home page which is a stateless widget and inside i just have a blank scaffold so in the last video i showed you how to create an app bar and you can change the colors and customize what you want with this app bar and so now if you look below the app bar you can actually see the option to select a drawer so if you just save this you will automatically see the little menu icon on your app bar so if you click on it, then a blank drawer will appear. So this is all set up by Flutter out of the box. And inside the drawer, you can put literally any widget inside, but the recommended widget to use here is a list view, which I also covered in some of my earlier videos. And just to add a bit of customizability here, if I wrap this list view in a container, we can give it a color. So let's of course give it a deep purple color. And then inside the list view, we can give some children to display. So again, here you can put any widget you like, but a common one to use at the beginning is a drawer header. And so if I just show you here real quick, in the drawer header, I'm just going to place a basic icon. And so you have this top section where you can place an icon, which is most likely going to be the logo of the app. So that's what the drawer header does. And below that, we can now display a list of options that the user can select. So for this, again, you can use just basic containers and gesture detectors here, but, but what's recommended here is to use a list tile, which is a widget that kind of packages what we want in this situation. So you can specify a title, so let's call it page one, and you can also specify the leading widget. So I'm gonna put an icon that is just home, and so a list tile also has this on tap function, which inside here, we're going to navigate to a different page. So to do that, we're gonna say navigator of this current context and push is the command that will take us to a different page. And so this bit of code will navigate us to a new page. Now we didn't create these pages. So let's go to our library and create a folder called pages. And in here, let's just quickly create two pages. So in the first page, make sure to import your material.dat file and let's just create a basic scaffold here. And in the middle, let's just give it some text saying first page and copy this and paste it into the second page. And let's also give each of them different colors. So the first one, let's give a blue color, whereas the second page will give a green color. Awesome, let's zoom out a little. Now we can import this page that we just created and let's copy and create another list tile but this is for page number two now also now if i save this and i click on it we can now navigate to the different pages so that's how you use a drawer and you can see how easy it is to set up using flutter now one more thing i just want to show you before we end the video is you can also specify the end drawer which brings up the drawer from the other side so just depends on your app really but keep that in mind if you ever want to use that one cool so hopefully that was easy to understand if you have any questions just let me know below and i'll come around and help you out but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one latest